one of the hardest things was getting my father to open up. My entire life, you know, just as far as I can recall, it was keep your head down, keep silent, work hard, don't bring up anything that's negative, just, just push forward. I think for Baldwin's dad, it was cathartic. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was difficult for him to reconcile the past, but yet the revelations that we come across made the film and the journey remarkable. My name is Larissa Lamb, and I'm the director and producer of Far East Deep South. And I'm Baldwin Chu, and I'm the producer of Far East Deep South. And we're married, if you didn't know that. I was born in San Francisco, California, and raised in Sacramento, California. Growing up, it was always kind of a mystery about my dad and his side of the family. My dad was born in China, but honestly, I didn't know anything else more than that. I knew I was Chinese by ethnicity, but I always felt American. I loved American things. I loved football. I loved hip hop. I'm also Chinese American, like Baldwin's family. And I have a very different background in terms of immigrant story because I am the first one in my family born and my parents were born in China, went over to Hong Kong because of the communist revolution and then they made it over here as students. Um, and so I had a very different perspective. Um, for me, I, I certainly struggled with my sense of belonging growing up. Um, I always felt like I wasn't quite American enough. And then when I would go overseas to visit relatives, I wasn't quite Chinese enough. We both had this feeling that the Asian American voice has always been underrepresented. And um, when we started dating, you know, we started learning more about each other and about the struggles, and, and a lot of our struggles were similar. As Chinese Americans, we've had people say things and, and make racist of remarks. There's this othering that, like, for some reason, we're not from here. We're not quote unquote American. Baldwin's family has been in this country for generations longer than people you would assume to be American. Far East Deep South is a film that takes us on a journey through the Mississippi Delta, through the eyes of your family, Baldwin. For me in U.S., life was pretty tough. I had no family. My daughter was born, uh, and, and I saw my dad holding my daughter. And I was thinking, huh, I've never experienced this before. I have no idea what this feeling is even about to be held by a grandfather. I never had a grandfather. And that just kind of made me wonder, well, wh why hasn't my dad ever talked about his father? I was one year old, and my father took the picture uh, with me. I haven't seen him since then. We started asking my dad a little bit more about like, hey, who's my grandfather? And um, lo and behold, we, we find this picture of a gravestone in, and he's like, oh yeah, that's your grandfather. But he's not in China, he's in Mississippi. <laughs> and we're just like, oh, okay, but where's this going? We literally thought there'd be two Chinese men buried there. And instead we uncovered not just more about your family history, but the history of the Chinese in the Mississippi Delta during segregation and the Chinese Exclusion Act. There's Harold's, that was Ralph's. So it was three Chinese stores right in a row? Yeah, this is okay. the, the original Ralph's. And this was our store. And this should be ours. Both mine and yours. Yeah, uh -huh. My grandmother described me how life was in Basin, Mississippi. You always have race segregation, and then uh, they have to work so hard just to make a living. And then they have to save nickels and dimes, literally speaking, nickels and dimes. I wasn't there for a lot of those moments with my father. Larissa had to kick me out because we knew that my dad wouldn't share those types of things with me or my brother or even my mom. How does it feel for you to visit the old store? Well, it's, uh, I never been here or live here, so I, I don't know, it's a mixed feeling. It wasn't easy for him to share, but it was important for him to share. 
sometimes you, you go on those searches and they don't end well. <laughs> but in our case, he ended up discovering so much more than he realized in the, the factors and the reasons um, why the family was separated for so many years and why he grew up fatherless. And, and a lot of that was because of the laws of the land, especially the Chinese Exclusion Act. It's so amazing to find out the family history I never knew, I never expected to know. There was this thirst to know more about the history, not just about Baldwin's family, but I think the history of the Asians in the South that really prompted me to make this movie because so much of this history isn't told in our history books. I know we all learn about segregation, we all learn about the American South, and normally nowhere in that picture is painted of Chinese Americans. And so this story fascinated me and I hope that it, it broadens how we look at American history and how we look at people as Americans.